गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी आई एम डॉक्टर दीप भव्या फ्रॉम के सिकदे मेडिकल अकेडमी मैंगलोर टूडे आर बी प्रेजेंटिंग अ पेपर ऑन द टॉपिक रोल ऑफ कंप्यूटर टोमोग्राफी इन अवेल्युएशन ऑफ एनाटोमिकल वेरिएशन ऑफ स्पीनॉइड साइनस एंड रिलेटेड स्ट्रक्चर्स इंट्रोडक्शन पैरानीसल एयर साइनसिस आर मेन टू मेक द स्कल लाइट वेट गिव द रेजिडेंस टू द वॉइस एंड हेल्प टू मेक इंस्पायर एयर मॉइस्ट एंड वॉर्म टू क्लीनशन दे आर इम्पोर्टेंट because of its infections and related complications out of the frontal ethmoid maxillary and sphenoid sinuses sphenoid sinus has got clinical significance in this new era of minimal invasive surgery especially for the surgeons when they discovered the transsphenoid approach for the pituitary surgeries and for the functional endoscopic sinus surgery fes because of this the normal anatomical variation of sphenoid sinus are important in surgeon's point of view pneumatization varies in each and every individual because of variation and pneumatization we get a lot of variations in sphenoid sinus and its relation with the neighboring structures these relations are important for the surgeons to anticipate difficulties and complications during surgeries aims and objectives to demonstrate the anatomical variations of sphenoid sinus and related structures on computed tomography to help in the transsphenoidal and functional endoscopic sinus surgery and reduce complications due to it research methodology this cross sectional study was conducted in the department of radio diagnosis k sekte medical academy mangalore Sample size total 120 CT scans were selected randomly from patients who fulfill our inclusion and exclusion criteria. Contiguous slice CT technique was used with 1 mm section thickness. We studied the type of pneumatization, protrusion or dehiscence of the neurovascular structures, presence of accessory septa and its attachment, termination of intersinus septa, etc. Inclusion criteria all the subjects were between 18 to 70 years exclusion criteria we excluded patients with acute or chronic sinusitis fes transsphenoidal surgery head injury or intracranial infection ct sections were analyzed pertaining to variation in pneumatization of the sinus association of protrusion or dehiscence of the internal carotid artery ica optic nerve on maxillary nerve mn and median nerve vn with the extent of pneumatization of sphenoid sinus was also studied observation and results extent of pneumatization it was observed that pneumatization of greater wing of sphenoid gws in 27 sinuses pterygoid process pp in 80 sinuses and anterior clinoid process acp in 40 sinuses protrusion of neurovascular structures usually protrusion of optic nerve is associated with pneumatization of anterior clinoid process protrusion of maxillary nerve is associated with pneumatization of greater wing of sphenoid protrusion of median nerve is associated with pneumatization of the pterygoid process protrusion of ica was observed in 14 sinuses dehiscence of neurovascular structures dehiscence of optic nerve was noticed in 8 cases and there was dehiscence of internal carotid artery in 6 cases pneumatization pneumatization of pterygoid process was seen in 55% of the patients pneumatization of anterior clinoid process was seen in 27% and pneumatization of greater wing of sphenoid was seen in 18% protrusion of the median nerve canal is seen in maximum number of patients that account to 44% followed by maxillary nerve canal protrusion seen in 25% optic nerve protrusion in 23% of the patients and internal carotid artery protrusion in 8% now coming to dehiscence dehiscence of median nerve canal is seen in 78% followed by optic nerve dehiscence seen in 9% maxillary nerve canal dehiscence seen in 7% and 
and internal carotid artery dehiscence seen in 6%. First figure, we see that there is pneumatization of greater wing of sphenoid as represented by asterisk with protrusion of both maxillary nerves represented by arrowheads and pneumatized pterygoid process. In figure 2, we see that there is bilateral pneumatized anterior clinoid process with both optic nerves passing through the sinus. In figure 3, we see there is pneumatization of bilateral anterior clinoid process. In figure 5, we see pneumatization of crista galli. And in figure 6, we see that there is intraspenoidal course of the VTN nerve. Pneumatization of anterior clinoid process was found in 40 patients, pneumatization of greater wing of spinoid in 27 patients, and pterygoid process in 80 patients. Internal carotid artery canal protrusion was seen in 14 patients, while it was found dehiscent in 6 patients. Optic nerve canal protrusion and dehiscence were found in 38 and 8 respectively. Protrusion of maxillary and median nerve canal were noted in 43 and 75, while dehiscence of the two was noted in 7 and 14 patients respectively. Conclusion Spinoid sinus is surrounded by important neurovascular structures. Various types of pneumatization can be seen, and if pneumatization spreads beyond body of the spinoid bone, it forms recesses. Due to this, spinoid sinus is in close relation with maxillary nerve, optic nerve, vidian nerve, and internal carotid artery. Newer techniques were helpful for the safety of the patient during intraoperative and postoperative period. Now, intraoperative fluoroscopic imaging or intraoperative navigational devices are used to confirm surgical landmarks, making these techniques very safe. These are the references for my paper. Thank you.